All right, guys, so the products you're going to need is obviously some hair ties, some bobby pins, um, a toothbrush. Um, I recommend just using an old toothbrush. Just switch out your current toothbrush for a new toothbrush and just use the old one. Um, this brush, I just got it and I really like it. It's a goodie brush. It's flat and it's the bristles are really tough so it's gonna be able to like create that really slicked back pony look so i think it was only three dollars at walmart and hair gel this is the one i've been using it's the not your mother's girl curl talk um sculpting gel in the flexible hold number three I think any hair gel would work um this is just the one that i picked up randomly but i'm sure any hair gel would work um so first thing i'm just gonna push all my hair to the back and you can make your pony as high or as low as you want but i usually like a, a pretty high pony so i'm just gonna take a good amount of the hair gel onto my hand like that much also this depends on like how much hair you have i have a lot of hair so i'm gonna get a good amount and i'm just gonna start like combing it back into my hair i'm getting the back side as well now i'm just gonna gather all my hair up together and you can have your hair straight um for this look I like having my hair straight just because the back will look like super sleek um but I just like after I finish my pony just getting like the pieces my hair is pretty straight so I just like getting the pieces that I that aren't straight and just like flattening them out after I do my pony but you can do that before so now that the some of the gel is in there I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hairbrush and just start brushing my hair back and you want to, when you start combing your hair, your comb into your hair, try to go in an upward motion, not just like off to the side. You want everything to kind of like come up and lift your head up. This kind of like, I feel like it gives you like a, like a instant Botox kind of. I feel like my eyes look more like chinitos. So just get all your hair up and don't forget the back. You want everything to look extremely like clean and straight the more you comb the nicer it's gonna look and like as I'm going I feel like I need more um, gel so I literally just grab my gel and I just like squirt it on right there onto my head and then just it on my head I'm gonna do the back I'm gonna add hair gel there too <laughs> I'm sorry if you can't really see what I'm doing but I'm literally just doing what I did at the top to the bottom of my head this is such an easy hairstyle and it just looks put together like it looks like you took your time getting ready i get so many compliments when i like do the slick back ponytail and it literally takes like five minutes <sighs> after i do the back i feel like i need to like do the f the top of my head all over again because i feel like i it gets a little loose I'm just gonna continue to comb the top. I'm getting two hair ties because I feel like I have a lot of hair and I really want it to be kind of pretty tight. Like you're gonna have a headache at the end of the day with this hair style, most likely. You guys, 
I'm editing this video right now and I don't understand why I look so frustrated and so tired trying to accomplish this ponytail but trust me it's not that bad I don't, just ignore how tired and I'm just struggling right now I'm not struggling but I look like I'm struggling just ignore that ignore my dirty ass elbow ignore the lipstick in my teeth I'm sorry I don't know what's going on with me in this video but trust me it's an easy look okay sorry for the interruption Okay, so now I'm going to take my toothbrush and I'm going to take some of the gel and throw some on there right on the brush. I'm just going to like move it around. And first, so I get a lot of like flyaways right here, like baby hairs right here on the side of my face towards my, well near my ear. So I'm just going to like clean those up with the toothbrush. And you can just like use your toothbrush to kind of just perfect everything and like if you see some like hairs flying away you can like really push them back with the toothbrush um so you can like pretty much be done here now i'm just gonna do um my little baby hairs i kind of like to put them around my face because i have a huge forehead so a lot of the times i feel like i just need to like comb them um, around my face so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some more hair gel and then I just start with my toothbrush just like pulling them forward and mine are pretty long so what I like to do is now that they're like this I just like to make sure the top right here looks straight and then I just press my finger there so that part doesn't move. And then I just start to like curl them back. The ends of the baby hairs. So just like that. And I don't know if you guys, well obviously you've noticed that I don't have my white background anymore. I just feel like the lighting is so much better when I don't have that background. Um, I don't know why, so I'm not going to be using that background anymore, so hopefully that doesn't bother you guys, that it's just like my room. And you can definitely like keep going like if you have like um, more baby hairs here like on this side of your face you can like keep going and make like more curls like around um, like all around your face but I mainly have some like here in the corners of my forehead and just because I feel like it looks weird if I just do that I'm just gonna take a little bit of hair like on my sideburns and just kind of comb those down just a little bit I feel like that looks really cute. I'm just gonna um, take some bobby pins. After I took my toothbrush and pushed back the extra hair that I had like around my hair, um, they're kind of, I don't know if you can see, but they're kind of still there. They weren't like perfectly combed back. So I'm just gonna use a bobby pin to ensure that they don't move around. So I'm just going to put one on each side of my head. And also I'm going to take two for the bottom. Because I have a lot of like little flyaways down here. So I'm just going to take two bobby pins and overlap them.
And that's it. It's like such a simple hairstyle, but I feel like it looks super clean and it just makes every outfit look more put together. Um, I love having my hair back. I feel like I have so much hair that sometimes it like weighs me down and if, if I have my hair down and then in the summertime it just gets really hot. So I feel like this hair, hair cell is really cute if you have like a lot of hair or super long hair um, for the summertime. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, a lot of you guys were asking how I get this hairstyle um, from my previous video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and were able to follow along and I'll see you guys in my next video.